Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, the Olympics are officially over. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little bit sad, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching it. On Saturday, USA played France in the men's uh, basketball. Uh, and it wasn't exactly close, but it was one of the closer ones. And the uh, USA won. Uh, Steph Curry killed it, <laughs> um, as you all saw. Uh, and then on Sunday, USA played France in the women's. So it was kind of cool that it was USA versus France, USA versus France. Uh, men took the gold and then women took the gold. Uh, USA women's had been, had been winning by an average of 18 points. They were favored by 15 and a half going into this game. So me being the genius that I am, I thought 15 and a half, that's lower than 18. So I bet $40 on it. And I guess what? It was a super close game. Uh, USA was ahead for a while. France was ahead by you know for a while. I think I can't remember what it was at halftime, but you know, oh, it's 47-47. Oh, it's 53-53. Like all these points in the game, it was tied up. So I lost the 40 bucks. That's gone. I got I got to live with that. Um, but it was of all the for the women for all the games. It was the it was the best game. It was the closest game. Um, I'm. You know, I would have loved a huge blowout in a way, but uh, I'd also rather just lose forty dollars and have a good game. Uh, France played it exactly how they wanted to play it. Um, USA has the ability to be a really high-scoring team. France doesn't as much, um, and so France was really like tight on the defense, just doing all these things to frustrate the U.S. And France wanted a low-scoring game, and it was. It was a very low scoring game. I think the over under, uh, for those who don't gamble, over under is the total points by both teams. Uh, so you're basically if you're make if you're betting over under, you're betting if it's a high scoring game or a low scoring game. I think the over under was around one fifty six. So that's like you know seventy five to eighty five or something. You know you, they thought it was going to be in that range, and it was like sixty something, sixty something. So it, the over under was way under. Um, it wasn't even close on that, which is what France wanted. Uh, I give France a ton of credit. Also, the USA didn't really play that well at a lot of points. They they missed a lot of shots they should have made. There there wasn't really anyone that like caught fire, uh, like you know like the one game where Jackie Young was just tearing it up. Like she didn't tear it up this game. Um, Asia Wilson played well. Um, you know who really did well is Kelsey Plum. Uh, Kelsey Plum came in off the bench and and just did. Uh, you know, she was like hitting her threes, hitting her free throws. Um, I love Kelsey Plum. She she might be my favorite player in the in the league. Definitely the best eyebrows. Kelsey Plum's like got the best eyebrows in the league. Um, but I love the way she plays. She's just short and low to the ground. She moves. She, you know, she she's best and she and she did great. Um, on the other side for France, oh man, Williams. Holy crap, uh, Williams was was killing it, killing it, killing it. So anyway, it was a very close game. Uh, it came down to the wire. You had to, you you had to watch the last two minutes, you know, and like that's what you want out of a basketball game. You want to, that last two minutes to just be, you know, that's the part you're, you where it all comes down because you 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 know when it's a one two point game in that last minute, you're thinking back like, oh, what about that free throw I missed? What about that rebound I missed? Like every little detail suddenly matters so much. Uh, so there was fouling, there was free throws, Williams just kept hitting threes, and then final shot of the game, you know, no time on the clock, France puts it up, goes in, it was a two. Foot was on the line, I mean, I when I was watching, I was like, oh my god, we're going to overtime, they're going to, I can't believe overtime, uh, but her foot was, if she if it had been a three, they would have gotten overtime, who knows who would have won, but uh, foot was on the line, it was a two, USA wins, so uh, super great game. Um, I loved it. I love the Olympics. Yeah, it's cool. The, the U USA women's, it was their eight, eighth gold in a row. So they've won 61 games in a row. So, I mean, I mean, how much more dominant can you get? They haven't lost, they haven't lost any game at any round since like 91 or 92. Uh, the men, I think it was their sixth in a row. So, or maybe fifth, fifth in a row, sixth in a row. Uh, also super dominant. So, uh, yeah. I had a great time watching the Olympics. I'll talk to you all later.